up YouTube okay so we have a LG washer and the issue with this one is the drain pump there's a, another pump next to it which is the recycling pump so what that does when it's going into cycle um, the water recycles and it basically just keeps you know shooting out shooting out without using a lot more water from the faucet so as soon as the recycling pump kicks in there's a little vibration in the in the system and it just kind of vibrates okay so what, what we're gonna do i'm gonna show you how to replace the pumps on these uh, a lot of people these disassemble the whole washer by themselves and that's a long process so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna teach you a, a quicker way to do that on these most of these front loaders they have a gap underneath all right so what you got to do is you got to remove the screw in here and there's two more screws that hold the pump itself and then there's also screws underneath all right you just find all those screws you remove them they're about three three screws and that basically releases the pump the whole pump itself through the through the bottom and you should be able to remove it now this is what the pumps look like when you remove them this one only has a single but the one I'm telling you inside this LG, there's another one on this side. So there's one here and one, 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 one's there. This is the drain pump, as you can see, because it has a little black hose, which is this one. But on the opposite side, you have the recycling one. So whenever you see that your, your washer is not draining, you always want to check this filter first. Remove it completely, make sure you have a bucket, just in case there's water inside. All right, so you remove it, put a bucket underneath, so water comes out. Sometimes you get stuff that's stuck in there, all right? You get socks, lint, all kinds of stuff. So if it's not draining and that filter is clean, then most likely your, your pump is bad, all right? It's either the propellers on the pump, which is, this is the actual pump itself. The propellers broke, they're plastic, so I've seen occasions where coins go in there and they break them. So you might hear a humming, but no drainage, and that's your issue, okay? But once again, on this on this occasion, we're changing the recycling pump. There's, it's not recycling the water inside. Does it affect it? It kind of does because, I mean, it kind of recycles the water, so the clothes is always staying wet through the top. Because these washers, they don't fill up all the way, all right? You get about a fourth of, the, uh, of, of a tub, okay? Usually, you don't, you don't see no more water than from here and down, that's all you see. Because if you start seeing water rise up, then what's gonna happen is gonna open the door with pressure because pressure starts uh, rising inside as well. So, so yeah, you, now these are energy stars, you can say, so they're water savers, all right? So once again, we're gonna just swap it out, un undo it, I'm show you exactly what it looks like when it's undone. But once again, simple, screw right there. We remove this plastic and then you're gonna see some screws inside. Let me go ahead and do that. All right, so the plastic, it's off. All right, I only had that one screw, but then there's two more screws, which is this one right here that holds the pump itself to the base of the machine. I'm gonna go ahead and take those off right there. I'm holding the phone, so I'm trying to use one hand, okay? I need to get a little stand for my videos. Sorry about that, guys, but okay so that should be loose there's another uh, screw down there so after pushing this little clip down that releases the pump you pull it back and this is where it looks like all right so all you do is just unclip it there's there's a clip right there right here that holds the whole pump or you could just unscrew it if you want. Right there, you got the screws around because it's just this what we got to switch out, all right? So what makes it easier for you, if you want to take the whole thing off, or you, if you could unscrew it, if you have enough space, unscrew that, and then the little mortar, that's what we just, we just got to change. All right, so let me go ahead and do that. So I don't have to take the whole thing off. I'm just gonna unscrew it and then remove that little pump, put the new one in, and then that's basically ready to go. So let me do that and I'll be right back. All right guys, so I already replaced the pump. 
So what it did, what it did, it actually it was just coming. It was not turning. All right. So all we basically what I showed on the video, just we're gonna reverse everything. But this is what it looks like when it's back together. Just that clip in the bottom releases the pump and the two screws right there. And that's about it. Um, once again, if you have any further questions regarding these type of LG washers, leave a comment. This one was a simple fix. But once again, go ahead and like the video. If you like the content, go ahead and subscribe. More, more stuff is coming soon. I got a lot more stuff that I'm going to be checking. So keep tuned. Got a lot of stuff coming up. All right. Thank you guys for watching.